we got a good matchup here at Danville Stadium. One veteran versus one rookie. It's Kraken versus Raptors coming up next. Good afternoon everybody, I'm Logan Foley back here at Danville Stadium for a great matchup between the Kraken and Raptors. Buck Quinn of the Raptors will make the look his debut in the Danville Blitzball League, facing off against a seasoned veteran and myself as the Kraken. Through my first two seasons in the Danville Blitzball League, a 17 and 11 record for myself and the Kraken. Good, very good record with some tough competition in the way. For the Raptors, his first game, Buck Quinn in the Danville Blitzball League, 0-0 and he'll look to make some noise in a very, very competitive league this year. It's only a four game season, so every game counts. Let's we'll see if Buck can get off to a good start. We'll be right back in a moment for Raptors versus Kraken. All right, here's the bat toss against the Raptors and the Kraken. The Kraken will catch and we will see what happens next. I don't think it works like that. Hmm. Now you got it. Home. What a, a, home. For the Raptors. All right, here we go. First pitch of the game. Oh, one. Foul ball. All right, we got a full count to start the game. Ball six. Ball six. Runners on first and second. Nobody up. And ball six. Base is now loaded with nobody out. Five and oh. Ball six. One nothing cracking after five straight walks. Yeah, three, three two count. That was. That was so jammed. Well, that is the inning. That's five. MVP. MVP. I right, bottom half of the first. Five zip cracking. Strike one. Strike two. Strike three. Strike one. Strike two. And one more strike away from a immaculate enemy. That's foul tip of the strike, so it's strike three. That's an immaculate inning. Six pitches, six strikes. Hey, new rule in the year, you tip in the strike zone, that's a strikeout. And got to show it off there in the first inning, I guess. Uh, that's a plus. Top half of the second inning. Five nothing score. There's ball one. And ball six. Six straight balls start the inning for a walk. Ball six. First second. Got me swinging this. One out. Base loaded. Two balls, one strike. Okay. Full count. Well, another walk. It's uh, six nothing. Still with the base loaded. And there's ball six. Seven nothing is the score. Three more runs and I'll be a mercy for the win. I can't, I can't swing that one out. And ball six, eight nothing. I just want to put the ball in play. <laughs> I just want, I just want, I don't want to strike out because I don't want those numbers on my record if I just want to put it. <laughs> All right, fine. Eight nothing is the score. We're heading to the bottom half of the second. All right, bottom half of the second. So we're a uh, immaculate inning last time, a perfect thing. What if you call that? I don't know. Strike two. Strike three. 
And just like that, first out. Strike one. Strike two. And strike three. So that'll be the inning. We head to the top of the third, eight nothing your score. There's a, uh, a perfect game going on. All five. Full count to start the inning. And strike three. So, one out. You're in the third. One more. That'll do it. All right, one, two. All right, ball six. So no perfect game, but still no hitter. And strike three. So that'll be the ball game. No hitter for Logan Foley in the Kraken. On a 12 nothing victory. See you in the post game. All right, Logan, it looked like you almost had a perfect game. Why did you have a perfect game? What happened? Well, what happened was that third inning came around, top half of the third, stood up there for about 15 minutes, only scored uh, four runs, give or take, and they were all walks. And the sun, it's 85 degrees out today. It's a hot day, and it was being down on me. By the time that third inning came around, I was in a groove the first two innings, threw a immaculate inning the first inning. Um, yep. Second inning looked pretty good as well, but third inning, I was just pretty much gassed. Um, now, so, now, now, tough. Yeah. So now on the offensive side of the ball, I heard you scored like 12 runs. Yes. Got a home run there. How yes. do you feel offensive-wise? I mean, piling a lot to our new guys. Um, yeah. So what do you expect yourself for the rest of the season, offensive-wise? Well, I, I said it before in the first half of the, uh, the interview that you know I want to boost those MVP numbers, and you know I feel like a home run there definitely helped. But would have liked to got you know maybe one more, and of course scored those 12 runs and. First five were the grand slam and a walk, and the other last six were all walks, or seven, can't even count. Um, so yeah, the, just tough thing there. I did hit a single, so got, got two hits on the ball game, still one twelve nothing. That's the type of game it was. So you know, you know the standings right now. Matt's one and zero. Right now, you are one and one. Yep. Um, so I'm guessing you probably have that date circled for Matt's game. So what are you going to expect coming into that one? You don't have to tell me everything because you don't want to give away everything. But I know it's a very important game, so what's going to be your mindset going in? Well, I've been learning a lot about Matt recently. I mean, we faced each other so many times over the years and did some stuff in spring training and had a good game then. So I, I know what he throws. I know what he's like. I know what to sit on. I know what he's waiting on for me. I think he's just got to play my game and, yeah, just circle that day. Hopefully he doesn't get that perfect season. And, yeah, it'd be nice to be the one to break that up and show that I'm at the top of the MVP race. Well, it was nice talking to you, so. Thank you, former MVP. One MVP to another. Yeah, one MVP. Uh, it's, it's coming. Oh.